The stand on second and 15. Quick throw, and it's intercepted. He's got another one, and he's got a field ahead of him. Diggs is going to take it to the end zone. Unbelievable. Just when you think things are going your way, New England's going to stop and do something right. The fumble in week one. The end of the game against Tampa, the tip ball, this field goal, they do it right, the breaks are going your way. And then Diggs, the most interceptions in the NFL. You can't have a tip ball around him. He picks off his old Alabama teammate. And uses the instincts, the hand-eye coordination. And run into the end zone like the man he studied on film, who was his role model to play the position. He told us last night, Deion Sanders. He looks like him, I'll tell you, Diggs. Mac Jones can't believe it. He just missed him a little high, and you can't right there. You gotta throw it in his chest. The ball's a little high and away. That's a Deion move right you there. You gotta go he for two here. Looks up to Deion so much. He had him on his screensaver when he got switched from a receiver to a DB long ago by Nick Saban at Alabama. And he says it's still there. He's never met him. But now you know Deion. You got a guy that looks up to you, and he's just made the play of the game. And now Dallas trying to make it a seven-point lead. A motion across, see who's against him. And come on back. It's Pollard. Still on his feet. Not Look at all the helmets on him. 26-21, it'll be with 2.27 to go. Now the game's not over, obviously, right? That's a game-changing, big-time play that can help your team win the game. As you see the motion back, trying to get Pollard in space, but... That one's not fooling the Patriots, but for a young quarterback, you got to come right back out, get rid of this play in your head. How about this? He's tied Rod Woodson for the most interceptions through six games in a season. I mean, this is interception number seven, pick six number two oh. of the year. And that gives Dallas 11 on the year. There you see, he's just joined rare. One of, the great, one of the great ones, Rod Woodson, was seven through six. Gives Cat Dallas 11 on the year. They had 10 all of last season. They already passed that number. And that's why in the third quarter when I said, when I look at this team, the Dallas Cowboys aren't taking a back seat to anybody. They can win the Super Bowl this year because they have the ability to create turnovers. They have players like Diggs great system and they have an offense that is unstoppable when they don't hurt themselves. Tony, remember we're talking to Matt Jones the other day about his relationship with uh, with with Diggs. Jones Diggs at Alabama together. So they faced each other so many times in practice. And he said our lockers were in the same area there in Alabama. So we called it the hood. So they spent a lot of time together. Tremendous respect. They both talked openly to us about it. But Diggs Makes the play against his teammate, and now Oshesky runs it to the 26. Came into the week with more picks than 27 teams in the league. On his own. Here's the one he had against Hurts. Yep, and that one right there set the tone. And the one thing Tracy said earlier, right? I'm going to come for him on each play. It's like chess, and she said, but I'm not going to play chicken with him. His instincts, though, he played chicken there. Yeah, he really did. You got a chance, though, right? You got to put that behind you. Come right out. Don't worry about that, right? You still can win the game. No one remembers the three minute interception. They remember the one that loses the game. Jones. Deep ball. And oh, somehow they blew the coverage. It's born to the end zone. One play later, the Patriots strike magic. And guess what? Double move on Diggs. They come right back. Diggs, you want to go ahead and be aggressive? You're going to go ahead and jump this? Henrik Bourne was the intended target on the interception play, and now he beats him 75 yards. So look right down here. They get him on the out and up, and then a dime, a throw to Bourne in the middle. Oh, what a throw, Jim. And then he throws the ball on the line so the safety can't get there. And there's Diggs giving chase and never a chance as Kendrick Bourne signed as a free agent by way of San Francisco. Now the Patriots go for two. <laughs> How quickly I mean, this is 
Mac Jones' longest completion on the year have been 32. This is big. I mean, this is going to be one of those you really feel like Dallas is going to get into position. Here's Jones. Looking, and it is caught for the two by Jacoby Myers. He's in the end zone, not for a touchdown, the one he's long <laughs> sought, but a huge two to make it 29-26. And he's just boxing out. There's nothing here. You see, they're trying to go to the flat. Mac Jones actually just, it's like a basketball box out. He throws it in, Myers boxes him out and just the ball placement's perfect how about the longest play all year for the patriots they needed it <laughs> had, had never even been one of 40 yards jones had not completed a pass for anything longer than 32 yards in one play after he is picked and run back for a touchdown he completes one 75 yards and the patriots are back ahead with 211 remaining how about the mental fortitude to throw it feels like the game losing interception and you feel the weight of it right your team has done a lot of great stuff you're going against a monster opponent who's really good you guys are two and three it's you've not had those plays go your way at the end someone needs to kind of just create it and he comes out and throws a frozen rope and the guts to call that josh mcdaniels belichick but he stands in there and puts it right on. Ultimately, who was responsible for Bourne on that play? Dix. He was a double move, one on one. And the out and up. The one thing was the safety was so deep that he couldn't get there in time either. That's. But I mean, you're definitely protecting like that a little bit. Hey, Pollard. Out to the 30. Good run back. Three lead changes in a span of four minutes. And guess what? We're still not done. <laughs> not even close. There's the one play that, like you said, felt like a backbreaker for New England. But right back. One play later. Kendrick Bourne. He's got a new identity, doesn't he? Uh, oh, yeah. You see what happened. Uh, uh, That incomplete. That one more play to run before the two-minute warning. Try to find Lamb. Man, all the different scenarios. The fourth and one decision, the field goal that's missed. We could talk about these plays like from the very first quarter on, how huge, right? They're all in the fourth Third time. and fourth down, they get stopped twice in this game, Dallas. This formation has really helped them so far, though. You line up, you see, okay, two on two, I can go over here. Three on two, where does this guy go? I go away from him. Well, that's caught, but negligible gain. Give him a couple, and they'll stop the clock with a two-minute warning. Kurt, third and eight, coming out of it. Earlier in the game, they throw that route, Zeke. New England has adjusted in the second half, made it tough. Can they stop Dak in this potent offense? Oh, Bud Light sells for retro tie -dye? Have you tried these yet? Bud Light sells for retro tie -dye. the loudest flavors ever. This is Antonelli's Cheese Shop. And, and we're, we're the Antonelli's. Antonelli's. Do good, eat good. That's our mission. We chose our new Spark Cash Plus card from Capital One because it gives us unlimited 2% cash back on everything we buy. And it has no preset spending limit, so our purchasing power adapts to our business needs. We use our 2% cash back to help cover our employees' health care costs. And that's how we take care of our most valuable asset. Our people. It may sound cheesy, but we like it that way. What's, What's in, in your, your wallet? wallet? Rated M for Mature. Day one with Xbox Game Pass. I need a Mocha Crunch Blast, please. You got it. I'm on the Mocha Fudge. 
We're gonna need more espresso chunks. Order up. Sonic Mocha Crunch Blast. You know how some carriers give you so little for your older busted phone you just end up living with it? I don't think so. Verizon lets you trade in your broken phone for a shiny new one. You break it, we upgrade it. You dunk it, doggy bone it. <laughs> Slam it, wham it, strawberry jam it. We upgrade it. Get a 5G phone on us with select plans. Every customer, current, new, or business. Because everyone deserves better. And with plans starting at just $35, better cost less than you think. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Verizon, the official 5G network of the NFL. And by Bud Light Seltzer. If you drink, don't drive, decide to ride. We're back with third and eight and 154 to go. The Cowboys trail by three. Here's Prescott. Over to Cooper. Nowhere close to a first. It's fourth and five. Mills wrapped them up in a hurry. Well, here it is right here. The game. Steve Belichick's face tells you how important it is. Yes, it does. Is. Four for a first. Pass. What a catch by Wilson. Cowboys remain alive. Oh, and he's, they're calling him in because his body leverage goes down. What a catch. What a throw by Dak. And now, though, the clock is running, so you got to get up and get going. At the 48. you got time. Just get to a good play. But Amari Cooper's one-on-one -on -one if you ever need him. They got a completion to the 40 with Schultz. They are so tired right now. The routes on the outside, they are gassed. Schultz is the only one that finds him. 13 to Wilson, then 12 to Schultz. Now with 40 seconds in running. Ball was tipped, and that meant Wilson had to wait for it. Incomplete stops the clock at 38. Well, you can just see the routes. Everyone is exhausted. This is going to help. Yep. Normally, you wouldn't say Schultz and C.D. Lamb and Wilson go out, but they have to. They bring in Malik Turner as a wide receiver for the first time in this game. There's Noah Brown, 85. So it's going to be man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to have your choice who to go to. Second and ten. See the motion, man to man. Protect him for a long time, and they were going to Turner, who just inserted into the game. Third and ten. Oh, is this a hold on Dallas, Jim? I think they might have thought someone held someone, but maybe there I didn't is see a that. flag. And now another flag comes out in. It looked like someone held something, right? Like Williams. Like Williams, like, grabbed someone. I was looking at Dak on the field. It looked like he just pulled somebody. I think there might have been two flags here. There was one thrown later right in the area of Van Noy, well after the play had ended. There are two fouls on the play, both by the offense. Oh, wow. Oh, the the offense. Number 52. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh -oh. Offense. Number 52. This is taking you way back because that second one's going to be tagged on afterward. That's three penalties on Connor Williams in this quarter. Now 52. You'll see somewhere right there. He's holding. Someone ran by him. He's trying to block two guys. But, uh, so the unsportsmanlike isn't tapped on, tapped on at the end, <laughs> or is it? We're gonna mark it. So it was, right? Yeah. We're gonna mark it at the 45 of Dallas. Or is it just the unsportsman? Don't you get? 
Let's get Gene in, Jeff. Gene. Sort that out for us. Well, I feel like they're going to enforce this, only the In this scenario, line. guys, they have to choose one of the two penalties. This mm -hmm. is not a live ball, then dead ball tack on. They mm -hmm. choose one foul. The unsportsmanlike is 15. They'll accept that, decline the hold because it's 10. But only one of two fouls can be enforced. Interesting. Second and 25. Because it's a dead ball scenario. Cowboys, two timeouts. They need you know, a good 20 yards to, to get it. See get, four get guys? In the range. They've had a ton of success with four guys on one side. Run them all across the field. Someone gets open. Prescott. In the middle, and it's pulled down. They're in field goal range with Lamb. We should take a timeout here. Should take a timeout, yep. 24 seconds. I mean, this play design has helped them win this game today with three or four huge plays. You know, we had it on the graph. If you saw it, second and 20. It was third and 25. Oh. And now this is going to be fourth and one. Oh, did they take a timeout, Dallas? Then they shouldn't they have. Did, they did take a timeout here. Because it's fourth and one. The only reason you take timeout is if you're going for it 100%. Because if you're kicking the field goal, you're not taking a timeout. Well, oh. they're going to bring out, they're going to bring out Zerline. Mm. How about that? Two fourth and ones in the late going in this game. Both times they decided to go with the kick from long range. This one is going to be from 49 yards. Having missed wide left from 51 earlier in this quarter. Now to tie the game. Kick by Zerline. Will it hook? It's good! Forty-nine yards. Greg Zerline ties the game, and this time they get a hand on Bethel coming off the edge. Yeah, and it gives Zerline time. Big time kick. I don't know how these guys do it. I mean, to have to completely mentally regroup. What a crazy final three, four minutes. Oh, you saw that was a strange plant for Bethel coming in trying to avoid contact. And uh, his leg wiggled awkwardly. What a big time throw by Dak Prescott to CD Lamb, right? To get yourself in position. If the Cowboys had missed that kick, they lost this game on penalties that hurt themselves. Really, that's been the biggest issue today. How many? 115 yards in penalties, 12. Mm. Well, it's good to see Bethel is up walking as if he's just fine. Now the Cowboys will be kicking the football back to New England. The Patriots still having the one timeout. It seems like so many more games this year. The density of uh, nail biters in this league to come down to these kickers. That's, That's more than I can ever recall. It's been thrilling. I think the league's deeper. You know, it's always been deep parity, but better quarterback play across the league. Offensive coaches have been, you know, gotten to where they're all catching up with what used to be only the four or five guys who were just so special. So now, Mac Jones and the Patriots come out. It was the last snap they had. They went 75 yards for one of the most unexpected touchdowns. We've seen this year. They've got one timeout. What are they going to do? Well, this is where John Madden's like, they should down it in the Super Bowl because you got a young quarterback named Brady. He's just not been here that often, right? They should just down it here, right? Just hand it down. Run it with Harris. <laughs> Gregory grabs hold of him from behind. And you're just doing that in case you accidentally break one. You make sure, tell him, protect the football. If you break it, we'll keep going. Otherwise, we're just ending the half. Heading to overtime. You just never know with a young quarterback, you know. I once said in that Super Bowl against the Rams. Sunday night football. Seattle and Pittsburgh coming up. Well, we've got more football to play here in Foxborough. Gentlemen, 
and welcome to overtime. We'll now play an overtime period of up to 10 minutes in which each team will have the opportunity to possess the ball unless the team first possession scores a touchdown. There's a defensive score or the first team keeps the ball for the entire 10 minutes. Good? Fourth quarter timing rules will be in effect with each team allotted two timeouts. All replay reviews will come from upstairs. We good? All right, same coin as before, heads and tails. I need your option, please. The call is tails. And it's heads. <laughs> it didn't take Matthew Slater very long, did it? Wow. Patriots will possess the football to begin the overtime when we continue on CBS. There's a new team in the NFL. One that plays for home. Everyone's home. Whether you're a rookie or a seasoned pro, this team has your back. We can help you tackle any project. We're the Lowe's home team, and anyone can be on it. Are you in? Try out for the Lowe's home team today. CBS begins with 60 minutes and former CIA chief and secretary of defense Robert Gates. Followed by a new episode of The Equalizer starring Queen Latifah and new episodes of NCIS Los Angeles and SEAL Team. That's tonight on CBS. So dangerous return man is Gunnar Oshesky. First team all pro special teamer last year. And he's not going to get a chance, not even close. Just a reminder the overtime rules. One 10 minute period. Touchdown or safety on the first possession wins the game. The score is tied after each team's first possession. The next score will win it. No coaches, challenges. All reviews initiated by the replay official. And here we go, Tony, your strategy for each side right now of what you think your approach is over time doing. Well, you got to be aggressive if you're in New England. This is not like a ball control type deal. I'm, I'm running my two or three best two-minute plays, I'm getting the ball out fast and going on. Oh, it's dropped. Aguilar, who's had issues with that in the past, was on his way to a good size game. And right here, slam. yep, and you see right here, that's completely dropped. That's the same ball that Diggs picked off when Quarterback Jones threw it too high, but that was out the gate. That reminded me a little bit of the Buccaneers game when they got that tip ball on third down, and the game might have been won. Mm -hmm. Someone doesn't. Mm -hmm. Patriots' first overtime game in the regular season. Regular season since 2015. There's a second and ten. Jones, bodies near him. Somehow got it away, and it's caught again. The short hands of Myers. I, I can't believe he got this ball off and was Shocking. accurate enough to do this. This was amazing. He knows he's getting hit. He's got to slide up one more and throw it with people under him on top. Curse is right there, and he puts it. Watch where he puts this ball. Boy, is he accurate. <laughs> got an injured cowboy that's unable to make it to the sideline. He tried. Basham. It actually looked like, you know, Dak Prescott, where it's like you got people around you and you kind of flat-footed and you kind of hang in there for another second. One of the great attributes of Dak's play is that, and we see Mac doing that a little bit today. Of course, the most famous Patriot overtime game of all would be the Super Bowl 51 matchup against Atlanta. Dan Quinn's Atlanta Falcons. And the Patriots storm back from 28-3 to win it 34-28 in overtime. And now Quinn managing this Dallas defense. Can his team make a stop against Jones and the Patriots who have the first down? They ran so well against him late in that fourth quarter. 
And they try to rekindle that with Harris picking up another five. Yeah, and it's a great point because that's McDaniels versus Quinn back then. And yep. It was Quinn's defense, even though he's the head coach. But Quinn, he took a hard look at himself and their system, right? That Seattle system that everyone would be using. The league had caught up. Mm -hmm. He's changed. When you put the tape on, he's matched way more. It's not zone drops. He has people next to people. They want to be attached to your hip, and they've done an outstanding job of that. And right now, they're going to need to because this gets one play away every moment. Second five. It's Harris. He dives ahead for two. That puts him over 100 on the ground for the game. 18 for 101. And he's calling to come out with a third and three on the way. Bolden will replace him. All you're hoping for if you're Prescott is just don't allow anything crazy. Saying just give me a chance. <laughs> Field goal at the worst. Exactly right. Keep it in front of you. See, these are the kind where I say you have chances to win games stuff here. It's like you're going to get one-on-one. -on -one. If this safety comes to the middle, I'd take a shot outside. Go right back, take a shot outside. The pass. Brown on the coverage, incomplete, no flag. And they take the Patriot offense off the field. Out comes the punting team. They went zero blitz, so when that safety came down, he's guarding the running back. Oh, he grabbed the face mask. Ooh, that, that was a big no call there. All right, and now they're just showing it inside the uh, stadium. <laughs> To the angst of everyone here in the Patriot jersey. First time today, C.D. Lamb back to field the punt. And he makes the catch at the 20. Dak again with monster numbers, by the way. 31 of 46, 374 yards. And the interception was really the only negative I saw, like, right in this game. It's like, you don't complete every ball and you miss sometimes, right? But the interception was the only ball he threw behind the guy. Other than that, he's played a wonderful, outstanding football game that's given his team a chance. Just the penalties made him right uphill. Here's a first down carry. Maybe got two out of it. For Zeke, Godshaw was there to plug a hole. You like that call? I thought they were going to do something bigger. I really did. It's almost like, I don't know. That's a tough one because you had ran it well, you know, in previous couple drives when you wanted to, but I don't love that there. It's first down. You know they got big people in the game. You know you're getting, like, one. Like, you study all week. You're getting one or two looks for sure. Four by one, Jim. Remember we said they get a lot of people coming across. Someone gets open. Nice. Able to duck away from the sack, and they've got the first down catch by Lamb at the 36. Move the chains. And finally, New England gets out of man and goes zone. So watch. These guys will just zone out. So when everyone comes across the field, the deck scrambles around, and Lamb still gets open. And Lamb's over 100. Seven for 107. And a touchdown. That, that one formation today. It's probably giving them 100, 150 yards. That's a great job by the coaching staff coming up with that. Cowboys over 500 yards of offense yet again. No way they hand this off, like we said earlier, right? You got to take a shot here. And whistles. <laughs> that was a shot play. Dak knows it. Prior to the snap, charge timeout. Dallas, their first will be 30 seconds. What do you think they were up to that time? <laughs> they were up to what we said. That was going to be down the field because they were going to play action. Let's show them the all 22 here. Watch. Tell me if this is going to go ahead and play that. Is this what you do on a running play, Jim? <laughs> if you're a wide receiver, go ahead and watch up top. Noah Brown. <laughs> He's taking it all the way across. They were going to hand off and have everybody block one-on-one -on -one and throw it all the way across the field oh you can't come back and do it again can you Howard remains the running back take it to him get it to schultz he's got five and they came back and ran a similar play but this time they just bootlegged with it but noah brown was open again <laughs> not a big adjustment there 
give him six, so it's a second and four. I start coming to Matt after him. You always do right around that 45, 50 yard line if a field goal beats you. You can't wait till it gets closer than that. It's like if they beat you with a touchdown once they pass the 50 or something, it's like, well, first down beats us most likely anyway. Here they come. Here they rush five. Open. It's Cooper. To the 49 of New England. A gain of nine. The Cowboys are great at running slants versus pressure. It's a big staple of this offense. Someone's going up and coming right down, and Amari Cooper runs that under route better than anyone. Dak has a 400-yard passing performance. 403. First down from the 49. Next score wins it. It's Pollard. Finds a seam. And he's down to about the 42. Williams, who's been flagged a couple of crucial times in the fourth. He was the one who dislodged a Patriot or two and opened up that run of seven. Great run by Pollard. They would kick a field goal from here even if they had to, right? Uh, he's got the leg to do it. I mean, from here you're talking though. You don't want 60. To. You don't want that. But they're already in, right? So it's already like, won a game from 56 with plenty to spare. At this point, I'd be like, no holding penalties, okay? To Lamb waits for the blocker in front. Cooper got a first down. Seven. So dynamic, run after catch. It, what did that? So tell us last night how unselfish this receiving core is and how much they do the dirty work for one another. And I said, are anybody selfish about it at all? He says, no. He says, sometimes I don't worry about who I'm throwing it to, but sometimes I want to give a guy a pass or two because he's just done so many things for the team. He deserves the football. We just saw Cooper do it there. It sounds to me like we have so many good players. That's, that's it. That's like it. So it's nice. Right. <laughs> You're right. Throws it down the field, it's caught at the 10, and this game is over! The Cowboys win it! C.D. Lamb! The play on the timeout, this was it, Jim. You asked me what the play was. 35 yards to win it, 35 to 29. The Cowboys have won their fifth in a row. And what a job Dak Prescott played. Almost a perfect game in a lot of ways. Mac Jones with a stake or two brought him back. But this game was an unbelievable game to call to watch if you're a fan of football. And this was the play. Right here, remember? Here he goes. When we said earlier they were going to come out, have everyone block and throw it down the field across, they would have just won the game five plays ago if they'd have done it then. But that's the same exact play when they called the timeout, and it was still there. Of course, Mills, the defender, was someone they were very familiar with. Saw him twice a year.